Okay, today we're going to talk about the AMCPOS system and how it can help your company control retail inventory products. The main menu is up here and shows many of the features that we'll be talking about later on in the demonstration. Initially, we have on the screen the POS main screen that your operators will use to sell products in your individual store. This screen can be filled with a variety of different levels based upon the variety of products that you sell so that if you have a lot of different products we can still fit them all because you can essentially have unlimited levels. In this border here we'll show the individual products being sold. For example, in this demonstration database we have food and we have a large fry, a small fry and we can have five poppers so you have quantity easily done. If we also had another level to address, we would go back to the home. And in this case, I'm going to pick taps. And maybe a five tap and a seven tap seven 24 ounce. The subtotal is always running over here, which includes the amount of products and the sales tax due. Press to check out. And so I just will be, I'm using a mouse currently. If you have a touch screen, you would be using your finger to pick all these selections that I'm making. The balance is $36.28. If they gave me a $50 bill, or let's say they had a gift certificate, and here's your different credit card types. They could have couponing in, in embedded in this system. But for the purpose of this demonstration, we're going to say they gave me a $50 bill. In that case, my change is $13.72. I simply can post this with no receipt or a regular receipt. In this case here, because we're simply demonstrating on a screen and you won't be able to see my printer at the same time, I have this pop-up that shows either no receipt or a screen-based receipt. The screen-based receipt is shown here in the 8.5 by 11 format. In most retail operations, we would be using a 40-column printer to capture that. Your screen will return to the original level for your cashiers to go to the next transaction. The reports section is here in the same menuing and we have report favorites and we have the catalog of all reports. In this case here you can go through a number of reports, almost unlimited, shown by general ledger, accounts payable, shown by module. So when I looked at the daily balance report, for example, and chose to run that, I would have to pick, let's say that I wanted a detail report that's going to show me all my transactions for today. And I think I will put in the beginning of 2015 until the end of 2017, not knowing what we have in this demonstration database. Press OK, send it to the screen instead of a printer, and it's showing me the details of every transaction that I have. Knowing the reference number will let me look at the details on a line by line basis, much like the receipt. So, for this brief introduction to the AMC, I just wanted to show you how the menuing system shows here at the top of the screen and you can eliminate this menuing system depending upon the security level of the user who's operating the system. You can make it as powerful or delete as much power as you want. That concludes the demonstration for today.